Hello, everyone. I am Yi Jia Shao, a PhD student from Stanford University. Today, I'm glad to present our paper, assisting in writing Wikipedia-like articles from scratch with large language models. The work is in collaboration with Yu Cheng, Theo, Peter, Omar, and Monica at Stanford NLP. We are living in an age of information abundance. There is a gap between the amount of raw information and the amount of information that an individual can possibly consume. For example, when you want to learn about a rich topic like sustainability, if you go to search engines or information retrieval systems, you will probably get something like this: a lot of relevant web pages or documents. Since they are all very relevant, you need to collect and read all of them. Very likely, after reading something. You need to do the search again to dive into some concepts and repeat this inefficient process. Or with the advancement of large language model today, you may directly go to chat with ChatGPT. However, the model's generation is hard to verify. To improve the verifiability of the generation, there are commercial generative search engines produce text with citations. However, The sources they cite have limited depth and breadth. Also, the major issue is that it is actually hard for people to ask questions about something they don't know. So, what's the happy situation? Perhaps it's when you found the top entry given by search engine is not an ad but a well-organized article like Wikipedia. However, not every topic has a Wikipedia article. Actually, there are thousands of topics waiting to be right, but we just do not have enough manpower to do so. So, in this work, we are trying to study how to generate Wikipedia-like articles from scratch, so that we can assist editors to create more pages, or directly help people's information-seeking process. However, generating grounded and long-form articles in open domains is very challenging. Actually, more than a decade ago, researchers at MIT have already been studying how to generate Wikipedia articles. However, they only focus on specific domains and use template-based method. This won't work when moving to open domains, as different domains emphasize very different aspects. Some other works in this area simplifies the problem by assuming the references are already given. However, Collecting references with good breadth and depth is challenging, as it requires literature research, which is even hard for human. On the other hand, some recent works on expository writing only studies how to generate a single paragraph. In this work, we try to tackle all three challenges by designing and implementing Storm, an LLM-powered knowledge curation system. When trying to solve this challenging task, we actually learn a lot from human writing process. So, how do humans write? Last century, when studying how to teach human writing, Rochman brings up the concept of pre-writing. He views the pre-writing stage as a stage of discovery in the writing process, and emphasizes its importance before the actual writing can start. In terms of how to discover. Human learning theories highlight asking effective questions in research and information acquisition. Building on these concepts, we design Storm, which focuses on the pre-writing stage by synthesizing topic outlines through retrieval and multi-perspective question asking. Once the system input is only the topic T and the desired output is the full-length article with citations. We break down the task into two stages. Specifically, we introduce the pre-writing challenge. Given the topic T, the task is to find a set of references and create an outline, which is defined as a list of multi-level section headings to organize the gathered information in R. For fast prototyping, we introduce outline coverage metrics as a proxy of the pre-writing stage quality. Suppose we have a human-written article on topic T, we can compute the heading record. 
Since the exact match between elements in these two set of headings is unnecessary, we compute the heading soft record using cosine similarity derived from sentence bird embeddings. Another metric we use is heading entity record, defined as a percentage of named entities in the human written articles, headings covered by the generated outline. As for the writing task, now we have additional information R and O, along with the topic T, to produce the final article S. Given the strong generation ability of language models, we believe the actual writing stage is more straightforward and we place our focus on the pre-writing stage by trying to use language models to do literature research via question asking. In our preliminary experiments, we found directly prompting language model does not work very well. It results in questions that lack breadth and depth, such as basic what, when, where questions. While previous NLP research usually focus on question-answering tasks, the new research question here is how to instruct language models to ask good questions. One technique we employ in STORM is the perspective-guided question asking. We got the inspiration from the stakeholder theory in business, where Freeman suggests we need to take different stakeholders into account when making decisions because they come from different backgrounds and care about different aspects. This is actually a desired property for us because the perspectives can provide language models with prior knowledge and adding perspectives can steer the model's generation to different directions, leading to broader coverage. So instead of directly looking for information about T, Stone first prompts language model to come up with relevant topics and read Wikipedia articles in the same genre to identify different perspectives which can contribute to T. For example, to do literature search about the topic of sustainability, Stone may first read articles about sustainable development and then identify a set of perspectives, including social scientists who will bring in a social perspective, etc. While the perspective-guided question asking improves the breadth, in order to improve the depth as well, we leverage the multi-turn conversation ability of language models to ask follow-up questions. Actually, some in-depth questions can arise only after reading the information gathered. For example, when researching the topic of 2022 Winter Olympics Open Ceremony, it's hard for the model to directly ask about how the order of participating countries is determined without getting relevant hints from the previous term. To make sure the gathered information is grounded, we apply retrieval augmented generation method to answer the question asked by the language model and filter out untrustworthy sources based on Wikipedia criteria. Putting things together, starting from the topic alone, Stone survey relevant topics and identify a set of perspectives in researching T. For each perspective, we use it to prompt language model to come up with questions and use a red question answering module to find documents to include in R and provide the answer to continue the conversation. And these conversations can run in parallel. Then we create the outline by first prompting language model to directly generate one to exploit its parametric knowledge and refine it with the information-seeking conversations. The final article can be written in a section-by-section -section fashion. Here is a running example of how STORM work. The topic I type in is the symbiosis of generative AI and human. By browsing a large number of web pages, Storm can collect information with good breadth and depth. These queries are coming from the questions raised by language model with different perspectives. To make sense of the collected information, Storm then generates an outline. And the final article you can see is actually very comprehensive and also well-organized thanks to the 
pre-writing step. It's interesting, actually we found like the hierarchical outlines also useful for humans to assimilate information. Also, the article is grounded in external source, which is very easy to verify. Great. So for our evaluation, we curate the fresh wiki data set by seeking out recent high quality Wikipedia articles. Our process can be repeated at future dates when new language models emerge. With this data set, we conduct two-stage automatic evaluation. We evaluate the outline quality using our proposed method. As for the evaluation of the final article, we use Rauch scores and the record to compare the generated articles with human-written ones. We also use Promises model to provide gradings on a list of rubrics. We found STORM significantly outperforms direct generation and RAG in terms of outline quality. We also conduct ablation studies to remove the perspective-guided question-asking design on the multi-turn conversation simulation. The results dropped compared to the whole STORM system. For article quality, STORM outperforms baselines across all automatic metrics. Here, ORAG refers to outline-driven retrieval augmented generation. Since automatic evaluation of long-form generation itself is a challenging problem, we conduct human evaluation by collaborating with experienced Wikipedia editors. The rate articles produced by STOM higher compared to the best baseline in terms of different aspects. We also conduct a survey to understand the perceived usefulness of STORM. We are glad to find all the Wikipedia editors in our experiments think STORM can be helpful for their pre-writing stage. To sum up, this work started how to generate a Wikipedia-like articles from scratch using language models. You can find more details in our paper and try STORM yourself through our open source code. Thank you so much.